I'm Lars Peter Hagen. This is my kitchen. This is Fett Ecke. Today we're gonna make a mushroom pate after a recipe by John Cage. Let's go. So we start with two, uh, two large shallots. So when you dice an onion, you remember to keep your thumb tucked in and then use a sharp knife. Then you can dice it really, really small. And you're gonna saute this with some garlic and mushrooms, obviously. So let's do the garlic. So we need about three cloves of garlic, according to the recipe. Just smash them hard. All right, so that was uh, three cloves of garlic, two large shallots, and uh, now we're gonna get some mushroom. This is the mushroom. I got some different kinds of mushroom. So it's uh, uh, chanterelles, porcini, and black trumpet mushroom. And I also got some field mushroom that my friend Martin found actually outside here in uh, uh, our house. So it's wild champignon, or it's also called field mu mushroom. So I'm gonna chop that uh, and uh, Fry it and don't pick mushroom unless you know what you're doing. Then you buy it in the, in the store. So uh, for this recipe, because it's a pate, I, I, I slice it kind of thinly. Um, but uh, I normally like actually quite big chunks of mushroom. It's, uh, that's the best, uh, the best way to eat it, I think. Yeah, these are dried mushroom, chanterelles, uh, porcini, and black trumpet. Um, so they've been uh, soaked in water now for a little bit less than an hour. And uh, now we're ready to drain them. Okay, so... Um, use the water, I mean... Uh, the water is actually quite nice. You can use it as almost as stock. I'm gonna use it for a different dish later. Okay, so we got some mushroom water. Save it for later. Okay, so we're gonna fry the mushrooms now. Always need to keep it clean because then you have control and uh, it's hygienic and it's in general better for you. So uh, according to the recipe, we're gonna fry these mushrooms until they're dry. I've never made this before, so. So it's, um, it's an experiment for me as well. And then we're going to continue cooking until the water is gone. Adding just a little bit of sesame oil. John Cage uses sesame oil for everything in his recipes. But just a little bit, not too much. It's very precise about that. This starts to smell really, really amazing. And it looks great. It's done when it's uh, soft and uh, has a beautiful uh, golden color to it and it smells amazing, then it's done. All right, so I'm just gonna do like this. Okay, so we're gonna continue. Also still with sesame oil. A little bit 
turn down the heat a little bit and then the onion. And then it's a, when the onion is soft, you can add the garlic. The garlic gets very easily burnt, so. Let me just add that mixture to the, to the mushroom mixture. Okay, so uh, we're gonna add in some brown rice and some beans. I got some brown rice here. Brown rice is essential in the macrobiotic diet. Uh, we're gonna use about, I think it says one, two cups. And I think that's about, this is pre-cooked brown rice, so leftover rice. Uh, is that one cup? Yeah, perfect, one cup. <laughs> then we also have, have some beans. And I made, made these earlier. This is also how John Cage used to make beans. He, I mean, you soak them overnight and then you boil them with a garlic, f one whole garlic that you just put into the mixture or, or into the bean uh, while they're cooking. So they've been cooking for three hours with this garlic inside. And it, it's really, I've never made beans this way before. Okay, and then one cup. So, um, just gonna put in this into a plastic bowl because now we're gonna puree, not all of it, but two thirds of it. It's gonna be pureed. And then, I use this here a lot. It's my best friend in the kitchen, the Bamix. But um, I haven't made this dish before. It seems to be a little bit dry. I think I'll add actually the rest of the mixture as well. And then just not puree it. Six there and just puree it two thirds in a way so it's not going to be completely smooth. But with we want some texture in it probably, it's, uh, that's why it says puree two thirds of it. So I'm gonna puree it everything but not completely smooth. And I do think we need some mushroom juice. Okay, so the mixture is done, and uh, yeah, I had to add uh, a little bit of the mushroom water because it was kind of dry. It looks, still looks a little bit dry, but let's see. So we're gonna add some pine nuts that are toasted already. So it's, I think we're gonna use, maybe I'll chop them up a little bit. Save some for decoration. Okay, let's see. And then we're gonna add some basil. So fresh basil, which is outside. So we're gonna get some uh, basil, which I have here outside. So let's we'll chop this up a little bit. All right, so. So we're gonna season it, salt and pepper. 
Actually, I do have Himalayan salt. That, that would be very John Cage, wouldn't it? Never used this before. So the first time to honor Cage. What is it? It's uh, salt from Himalaya. It's very uh, <laughs> fashionable. It was a gift, I guess. Uh, but it's also it's supposed to be healthy, more healthy. And yeah, it's pink, which is nice. And then pepper from India, I guess. Yeah, it smells good. It looks very much like vegan food from the 1960s. Which it is, I guess. Mmm. Mm. It's nice. It's really good. More salt. I'm gonna put that into a... I mean, the uh, cake says put it into a Römer top, which is um, like, a, uh, I, I don't have that unfortunately, but uh, I'm gonna fake it with this one. Uh, so I'll just put it down there. I don't have a lid for it, so I'm gonna use aluminum foil. Now it's going into the oven for, I think, one hour and I don't really understand why because it's already done <laughs> I mean it's everything is cooked and uh, uh, and now the basil is fresh as well and uh, I mean the, the flavor is really good so I mean you could serve this without any problems just like this and keep the freshness of it but if Cage says that we're going to put it in the oven for one and a half hour, I'm going to do that. He also says that you can use three bay leaves for decoration, but I only have dried ones, so I don't think it's going to look very nice on top here. But that looks cool. Vermitop top would be better, but this is all I have. Uh, it's 200 degrees now uh, Celsius and uh, making a small salad to serve with the, uh, the mushroom pate actually. Um, I'm just gonna slice this uh, thinly using the mandolin. I like to try to use everything. I like to, I mean, if it's possible to keep this one, it's, it's, I think it's nice, I think it's fun. Okay, wash your fingers while you do this. Okay, so. Then you put the vegetables, fresh vegetables in ice cold water and um, keep them crisp and fresh. That. Yeah, some kale, young kale. Hmm. So just go in there. Yeah, maybe some chives, but we can do that. I'll chop some chives as well. This is really, really fun. This is some of my favorite things to do in the kitchen. Chopping chives. in the bread lightly.
The pate has been in the oven for um, a little bit more than an hour. And let's look at it. This is exciting. <laughs> it puffed up. It's very brown. But it smells wonderful. It looks like something from the 60s. But it smells awesome. So the pate is ready, it has cooled down a little bit. So I thought maybe I'll just uh, serve it with a small salad and some herbs, some basil. There was a lot of basil in there, maybe a little bit of, of thyme. Because it's good, thyme is good with, uh, with mushroom. And then the pine nuts, a little bit of chives maybe. Not too much, but a little bit. Okay, so we'll find, um, how do we serve it? Serve it on a, my grandmother's plates. Okay. A little bit of olive oil. Seasoning. And some lemon juice, just last minute. Take some of the mushroom. <laughs> yeah, it looks um, brown, which I kind of expected. So I'm trying to lighten it up a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, but I think it looks nice as well. I mean, uh, brown food is the best food. We all know that. Mmm, it's nice. So that's it. It's a macrobiotic mushroom pate a la John Cage.